Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Bold. So guys, recently I was looking for a solution to verify the phone numbers in my Salesforce org. And then I came across this website, which is veryphone.io. So guys, using this website, you can verify the phone numbers. And uh, today uh, we'll be using the veryphone APIs to verify the phone number in our Salesforce org. So you can uh, create a free account here. And then after creating an account, you just need the API key. Uh, because we'll be using that API key in our uh, LWC component. So guys, uh, what we'll do, we'll be creating a, actually I have already created the component just to save the time and I will be uh, displaying the code here and I will explain the code. So what I have done is I have created a headerless quick action. So that will be basically quick action on the account and on the click of that quick action, it will just verify if the account's phone number is valid or not. So to verify the phone number, we are using the record ID of account and based on the record ID, we are getting the phone field using UI record APIs and using the phone field, we are calling this API, which is verifying the phone number and then we are displaying the result itself. Okay, so let me show you the functionality first. So this is my Salesforce org. Let's go to account. So as you see, uh, these are two accounts. So let me open this one first. Okay. Now there's a quick action which says verify phone and when I will click on it, it will show a pop up which says this is a valid phone number from India having Airtel as, as a carrier. Okay, now let's check the other one. And they say this is a valid phone number from Jabalpur, Madhya Pradesh having Aircel as a carrier. So basically these, these were the default number, I mean these were the fake numbers I was using, just some random digits. So using this, uh, you can verify the phone number and let's say if you will enter a wrong number here, let's say if I'm creating a new record, okay, and let's save it. Now if you will click on verify phone, then it will just show not a valid phone number because you have to enter the country code itself uh, before the phone number. Like for Indian phone numbers, I was using plus nine one as in country code. Okay. So uh, this was the functionality guys. Now let me show you the code, like how I implemented it. Okay. All right. So guys, this is my LWC component. So on HTML side, we are having nothing because it is a headerless quick action. It won't be having any UI. It will be just executing the action on the load of that quick action itself. Okay. And here in the JavaScript part, I'm having a, a function which is uh, calling the APIs. So that is in my controller. I will show it to you shortly. And I'm having get record and get field value API here. We are having show toast and we are having phone field here. Okay. So here I'm ha I'm getting the record ID. Then I'm wiring the get record function, passing the record ID and getting account data. And then here in API invoke function basically we are invoking the headerless quick action on the click of that button so I'm passing the phone number in this phone parameter then I'm sending the uh, parameter into this verify phone method so this verify phone method basically it, it is accepting a phone number right now okay and based on the phone number it will just send the data so we are passing the phone number and if the result uh, so basically we are having a descriptor also for that so if result uh, sends us this uh, valid phone number so I am displaying the success toast message otherwise I am displaying the error message here okay now let me show you the descriptor file first so guys this is the descriptor file here because we are getting the data in a JSON format and we have to convert it so this is a class I am using to convert it and I am using few fields only written from the response uh, there are few other fields as well I will show it to you shortly so I'm using status, whether it is success or failure. I'm having phone valid, it, is, it could be true or false. If phone is valid, it will be true, otherwise it will be false. Phone region, like uh, if we, we will try with plus 91 code, then it will return India. The carrier, the SIM card provider or whatever you say, like Airtel, Aircel, idea, it could be anything. Okay. So this was the descriptor, sim this was simple descriptor. And here uh, also we are just uh, deserializing the JSON data. Now let me come to my controller. So guys, this is my controller. In, in this, I'm having a very basic callout method. So this will be the callout URL. And here you just have to pass the 
phone number and the key and as you can see i'm having a key in a custom label so let me just put a comment here so you can understand it better i'm having my api key in custom label okay so this is my api key and we are having a simple get call out here okay and after that we are getting the body of the response and then we are returning the data based on the descriptor variables okay so this was a simple where this is very basic call out guys and guys make sure this is one very very important thing make sure you added this url into your remote site setting because this is a very important part of this example if you are not having this url into your remote site setting then you won't be able to make the call out okay now let me show you the complete url of it okay let's say if i make a call out now verify phone this is a valid phone number from india okay now if i will go to here and search for get apex logs so this is the latest one uh, no this is not let me just search for it. it's 217 okay so right now it's 250 maybe the apex debugger has stopped yes it was stopped at 244 so we have to turn it on again so turn on apex debug log okay so it will just turn on the apex debug logs and after that we'll be able to you know check so now it is turned on till 320 so it, it will basically turn on for 30 minutes only now we have to re-trigger the apex again to get the log okay so we have triggered the apex and now i think we'll be able to get the logs yep these are the latest log and here uh, let me show you the complete response yeah here is my response message so guys here if you will notice we are having status phone is it valid or not phone type uh, phone region country country code country prefix international number local number e164 and phone carriers sim card provider so guys these are the parameters you will be having as a response from the server so based on that i mean if you need any additional parameter then you can just upgrade the descriptor as per your requirement and then you know it will be sending all the data and then you can just modify i mean if you need the maybe the success message or maybe if you need any action if the phone is valid so it is up to you it is up to your requirement okay so guys i'll be having the complete code on my blog also which is salesforcepool.com so if you need the complete code feel free to visit www.salesforcepool.com and you can use that code and you can modify that code as per your requirement okay so guys that is it for today i hope you like today's video if you like today's video subscribe to the channel will be awesome i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching